Hey guys, this is a part two of the Kuahara. So the story behind this was this was at an estate auction and I went to it uh, the day before for a preview and uh, I went down into the basement and I found this bike sitting. The house didn't have a garage so this was stored indoors for the past uh, 30 years or so. The uh, auction worker while I was there brought it upstairs and there was a uh, their box truck was sitting in the grass about five feet from the sidewalk and he brought it out and uh, set it next to the, the truck next to the sidewalk I was nervous that this is an older guy that he'd forget about it and leave it sit out overnight and sure enough, I came back the next morning, about 30 minutes before the auction started, and this bike was still sitting in the same place, five feet from the sidewalk in a bad area of town. And I was shocked it didn't get stolen. Uh, so, um, auction started, and I couldn't sleep the previous night knowing this bike was there, that it might get stolen, and also, there'd be some uh, eBay competitors there. There's about five or six guys in my area that look for BMX, and they sell BMX. Three guys sell them on eBay, and there's another guy that actually has a bike shop near here that uh, he buys retro BMX and sells them in a shop. But lucky for me, uh, nobody else was there. There's a bunch of older people few people looked at the bike but nobody bid on it and this is why I only bought one thing at the auction bike and it was five dollars with the buyers premium I paid 550 for this bike like I said it had been sitting in a basement for over 30 years but it's a Kuahara laser light And the chrome is going to clean up very nice. There's like no rust. All this is dust that's gathered on it. Handlebars look to be a little rusty, but not terrible. I'm not sure how well those are clean up. But yeah, what an amazing score for five bucks. The date code underneath says it's in 1983. So I'll shoot part three once I just get a uh, general cleaning clean up the grime and the dirt off of it and I'm gonna restore it into uh, just riding condition it's not gonna be a carpet queen it's gonna be something I ride around the neighborhood occasionally looks like it has the original seat So yeah, I was going to pay three or four hundred dollars for this bike if there was somebody there to, you know, compete against, but lucky for me, nobody was there, and I got it for five bucks. So just remember, if you guys like my videos, like, subscribe, see you next time.